And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Luis Arias. He leads the team and wins above replacement. So most days, you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year, and that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him, and they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Today's starting pitcher, Bryce Elder. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective Maybe here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't feeling. been great at home. Jazz. I'm sure he Jazz. wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Yes. And a big swing and a miss. Okay. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get oh, the barrel to it. That one missed. The one two. Oh. Hey, ball. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Hard hit to third. Riley fires the first. One out in the top of the first. Let's take a look at our lineup. Coming off a huge showing in their last game, Avasail Garcia. Real solid performance for him in his last ball game. Couple of home runs, got to jog around the bases, looked really locked in. And, you know, that's the kind of confidence that you want to see a guy have. I'm not saying he has to hit two homers again, but I think he's going to be a factor in this one. Nick Gordon stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the catch. And there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. Luis Arise stands in. Elder, 24 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick in 2020. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, Please. I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Jake Berger in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. One ball, one strike. In the dirt, blocked. No advance. Good job behind the dish. And strike two. One and two. Next offering is downstairs. The rise. The runner at first with two gone. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Marlins leave one. And now the Braves with their first chance to hit were scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Truist Park, and today's starting pitcher, Trevor Rogers. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. We'll watch we'll how he works play. in this one. Bottom of the right first. Field. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And Siggy, they're dealing with a former MVP in this spot. Swing and a ball popped up. Bell sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. 
And we check out the guy in the seventh spot, Sean Murphy. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. Ozzy Albies, batting with one down, takes a strike. That the misses ball. the zone, and now it's one even one. one and one. The pitch. Good oh, eye in that spot. That's inside. inside. And the count is three and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right Hi. there, just trying to straighten him up a three little ball. bit so he doesn't Stretch. have as much outside plate coverage. The wind of the pitch. Got it by him for the K. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Two down, nobody on. One and ball, now the count is even. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Chisholm sizes this one up, squeezes it, and that's the third out. Scoreless after one. And we're back, Leading top of the Ryan. second, and now the Brian De La Cruz. Ryan De La Cruz. And the pitch. That's Just the missed. Next oh. offering is in for a strike. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Huh. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Fights it off, you'll see another. What about some no nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. That is it. The first baseman, number nine. Here's Josh Bell. Yeah. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Way Woo. out front for strike two. One ball, two strikes. That one a little bit high. Two and two. I think he wanted that call on the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. That one misses, and it's three and two. One out, base is empty. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That is that Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Righty delivers. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. A good fastball changeup combo has always been devastating for hitters, and that was a great example in that at bat. Changeup, fastball, changeup, and he goes down on just three pitches. And as a hitter, once you're down 0-2 in that spot, you have no idea what to sit on. You got a 50-50 chance when you guess. So I'm sure that changeup looked like a fastball almost the entire way to the plate. Foul ball. Two outs. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. No score here in the second. 
just oh. Oh. missed. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And here it comes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Gets a piece and stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Three. And down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. One left for Miami. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball. One strike. Oh. Now wanted one. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offer in there for a strike. And the count's even in two. The wind of the pitch. Olsen swings and drives it deep to right. Way back there. And it's off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. He was all over that one. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that. But he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the ball, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Austin and Riley. Ball. ball one, no strikes. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And now the lefty. No, no. Runner in scoring position, nobody out as we play game one of this four game series. Grounds one to the right side, and it's through for a hit. Here comes Olsen around third. The throw is across line. He's safe, and it's one nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Adam Duvall at the plate. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with the knock in this one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, and one. And he'll one. One, one. one there. Right aboard here at first with nobody out. In for a strike, and the count is one and two. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Oh, just a tough pitch to hit, no, and two. not an easy one to throw either. Kicks and fires. Three and that's outside. Full count, three and two. Here comes a pitch. Keeps the at-back going with a foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And that's oh. ball four. That's a great at-bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Base knock and now a free pass. Is, this yeah. has the makings of Look a big inning if they can get a couple oh. more quality bats. Here's Sean Murphy. Murphy. 
swings oh. through that one. Oh, Come on. One. One this is an opportunity to do some damage, but you've got to be selective. Make sure you get a pitch that you can handle. And he'll one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that off. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. One and two. At the belt and fires. Oh. And that just misses. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Struck him out swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. But it's it's talked about a lot. But a job. good high fastball in a two strike situation. Four it's just job. become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not. But they're not. Goes to third in there. And now they've got runners at the corners with two outs. Now we'll see if moving up to the third there pays base. off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but what now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Whips it to first. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Abisail Garcia up to the plate. Abisail Garcia. And the right hander back to work. And Garcia gets a piece. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Kicks and deals. Got it. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very heavy yeah, pitch just right over the part of the plate. Yeah, and I know that batter is kicking it. himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Back to the top of the Miami order. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. There's a strike. fouled off the fish down by a run we're here in the top half of inning number three. Oh, and ball one tough to take a two strike change up that just missed I think it froze it oh. now, and now two gone oh that's almost just not fair with that pitch I mean until the very last second it looked like it was going to be well in off the plate but the arm side run brought it right back to catch the inside corner tell you what frustrating as a hitter you give up on the pitch I honestly don't know what you're supposed to do with that as a hitter other than just tip your cap as you walk back to the dugout Gordon in the box now no balls in a strike pitch swing and a miss and that is strike two more and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count and this situation will keep a close eye on his approach and the right hander deals in the air left field corrals it and that'll do it Here in Atlanta, here's a Cunha now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Swing and a miss. Now. A 
Ozzy. All these the up to the plate. One. Went down on Just strikes his first it. time through. Ozzy. Ozzy. Back loops the corner. And one that one is one inside strike. ball one. The one one. Late with the swing there. Well, just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. The 2-2. Two -two. Swings and misses. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. It could become dangerous. Two out spaces empty. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. One On the ground, right side. Arise on the first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning for the Braves. Braves go down quickly here. They lead it 1 0. Back at Truist Park. Up, New inning home. getting started. Now the it's second the second baseman, baseman Luis Arise. Arise. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Arise, multi-time All-Star, a career batting average over 300, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. The pitch. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Battling here as he fouls it away. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to score it up. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, they get the strikeout there, and what kind of stood out to me was that they weren't shying away from contact. Every single pitch was in the strike zone, and that tells me they wanted to attack him, and it paid off. Next to hit, Jake Berger. Off the mark there, and that's ball one. On the ground, right side. Can't glove it cleanly. Recovers in time to get the force. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. Well, this is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond. We've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that extends the inning. Everything came together for him. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Line drive, and that's a base hit to right. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. All over that one right there. Just a now solid that. swing right there. Got the it out front and leaked it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And up next for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. And he takes one right on the black. That's strike one. Two on, two outs. This to third. Over to Fletcher. Oh. That's the third out. Marlin strand a pair. They still trail 1-0. Bob 
bottom of the fourth, and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. The first base. You don't get ahead in the count. You can forget about having any success against him. And he deals. Right side, hard hit. Takes it himself. One up, one down. Fastball moved right down the middle. Usually now a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Here's a big power threat. Austin Riley singled and drove in a run his first time through. And that's in for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. That's in for a strike at 95. 0 and 2. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. One down, base is empty. The punch out there, and there's two away. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly, they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Slam and a base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Oh, just a cookie right. down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Okay. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So here's Murphy now. He swings and fouls one off. Duvall off of first with two away. Late that time, and it's strike two. Oh, two. Next oh. offering upstairs. Two outs. Way inside, gets out of the way. The pitch. And another ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in a scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Here's Orlando Arcia. Swing and a miss. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at-bat? Just One miss. One strike. This one popped up, right side. Bell, as this one sized up, nabs it, and that ends the inning. Two left for Atlanta, but they hold a 1-0 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Christian Bethencourt. Elder back to work. And that's off the inside edge. One and oh. You know, these Marlins just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Abasail Garcia, the next up for the Marlins. Struck out swinging his first time. That's the ball. One and oh. Swing and a miss. One and yeah. one offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. 
Bases empty one away. But they're the top of the fifth. Swings and misses. Struck him out. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. Chisholm stands in now and watches strike one. Foul ball. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. The batter, number one. Uh, Nick. Good. second here with two away Nick Gordon the next up for the Marlins that Whoop. one's in there on one as a pitcher you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed a base hit it's probably going to be a big run so you really have to execute on the mound left-hand hitter waits that clips the zone and that's strike two and a bat like this is almost over as it begins in this situation. You have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the David Fletcher. David Fletcher. The pitch. Strike one. No ball. One strike. That misses. And the count is one and one. In the air, out towards right center. Chisholm under this one. Puts it away for the out. Then there's one down. The right fielder, number 13. And now it's Ronald, Ronald Acuna, Acuna Jr. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. He was late there, strike one. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Misses off the plate. And one and one. And a swing and a miss. One ball. Two straight. One down, base is empty. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Ozzie Albies next up for the Braves. And that clips the inside corner. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. One Not ball, even one close strike. there. One and one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This is one a treat to watch. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. On its way to the corner. And that drops foul. 
the line to kick the pitch. That one misses, and it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Stands in with two away as he takes the ball. Albies off the of first with two away. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Takes off, pitch misses, go to second, and that'll end the inning. Well, try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here in Atlanta, top six. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Come on. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but oh. they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The 1-1. One, one. That's to third. Riley. To first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now for the Marlins, Jake Berger. Splits the plate. Strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league and average, and that's what's allowed him one to pitch well up until this point. One down, base is empty. Up the middle, and that one handled. Jump throw! Yeah. Awesome play there. Up next to the Marlins. The designated Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. One for two. It's six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Birch Smith. Just trying to keep this one close here, and now this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight one. back into the game. Three, four, five, do up for the home team. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. And a pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field, on his way in. Makes the grab on the run. One away. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Up next for Atlanta. Matt Olson up to the plate. Matt Olson. Oh, 
swing and a miss. Nice changeup. No Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. JT Shagwa appears to be getting loose. Sanchez getting loose as well. That clips a corner. That smash towards center. Chisholm racing over to make the catch. It was all over that fastball right now, there. I'll tell you what, if he gets Third under it man. just by a fraction oh, of an inch or a little bit more, no that's way, way bad. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Around first, headed for two. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Adam Duvall next up for the Braves. Oh. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. And on second, two down. Fought off foul. Righty to the plate. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. We're through six full. It's the Braves one, and the Marlins nothing. We go to the top of the seventh, the and here's the first baseman, the first Josh, baseman Bell. Josh Bell. The wind of the pitch. Huh. Flips the corner, strike one. Fastball for a strike. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid. Of Struck him out looking. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Sanchez in the box again. Takes a strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. In the air, left side. Duvall makes the grab for the second out. Now Digging in, Catch Christian it. Bethencourt. Bethencourt. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. <laughs> out to short, Arcia. Fires over to first. Yep, That's out number three. And one, two, three go the Marlins. They trail here, one nothing. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. JT Shagwa. Pretty tight game, now, so they're looking for quality end. pitches out of Number him right here. Got to do his best JT to keep the score right Shagwa. where it is. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Sean Murphy. He's over for one. John Murphy. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Shagwa in his sixth season he features a sinker a slider and he works in a four-seamer and there's that one curling down the 
the line and foul. And he'll shoot. And yeah, they'll do it again. And he did not like the call. Now batting. Orlando Arcia makes up for the Braves. Arcia. Arcia having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. And the righty deals. And that one wrapped foul. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. One down, base is empty. Pitches in the dirt, and a count one and two. That one is absolutely belted. Runs over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Well, he waited until the seventh, but that's the knot that'll extend his hitting streak. Singy, how much does it weigh on your mind when you're coming to the plate in the late innings with a streak going? Yeah, quite a bit. And a hitter's supposed to say he's only focused on the current at bat. But, man, honestly, it's hard not to know that if you don't come up with the hit, your streak's over. So it's there, at least in the back of your mind. Now it's going to be David Fletcher. Swing and a miss as he was late. And it's second. This one popped up. Bell drifts towards it. Calls it in. And there's two away. Up next for Atlanta. The right field. Ronald Acuna Jr. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Not close. Ball one. Arcia at second with two down. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Swinging. One left for Atlanta, but they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Abasayil Garcia. Elder back to work. Swing and a miss. No ball. As he was out front that time. Next off, and he's in for a strike. And he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Doesn't catch up to the heater. Pretty good strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Chisholm in the box now as he leaves that one up high. A wind in the pitch. Late swing, foul to the left. One down, base is empty. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. 
Two up, two down. The bat, Nick Gordon, Nick. the next up for the Marlins. Gordon. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Late on that fastball. Oh, Holding on to a one run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Snags it to end the inning. Totally dominant on the mound as he's through eight without surrendering a run. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Andrew Nardi. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. Well, both the sides hitter. equally as Ozzie. strong. So not Ozzie. a good time to try to turn him around with a release pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Go ball. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. One one. Wouldn't one. chase that time. Good no. eye in that spot. Swings and misses. Two and two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Struck him out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Harris in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Base is empty one away here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swings through that. The pitch started one in ball. and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Good eye right outside. there. Pitch misses there. Now three and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Two outs, base is empty. Matt Olson next up for the Braves. One for three. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Outside low, and it's one and one. Two outs. Next offering is outside. Two and one. down on strikes and it's a one two three inning looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back back at truest park we go to the ninth and at the play for miami Luis arrives and the pitch I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead in the count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Just miss. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth 
ninth inning, but being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jake Berger. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Nelson misses. It's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. He got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. So they're down to their final out. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Base hit, center field. And that puts the tying run on base. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. No, That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride below, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So two down. Josh Bell at the plate now. First no, offering and it just misses. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Whoa. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Ground ball right oh. side, and it's just foul. That was close. And here it comes. And fouled off. This could end him. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. one nothing. the final. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shopey saying so long. Atlanta Braves, one run, five hits, no errors, they left seven runners on base. For the Marlins, no run.